Welcome to The Daily Digital. I'm Kate Murray. Watching somebody talk on video is so much easier than reading a book, and I think that's why webinars have become so popular as a way to sell products and services online. What exactly is a webinar, and how do you create one? So all these short how-to videos on my YouTube channel are kind of like little mini webinars. A proper webinar should be designed to always teach your audience something, because otherwise, why would they watch it, right? The objective is to be both entertaining and informative and give your audience enough value to actually want to come back for more. Many great live webinars are much like a training session in that people attend virtually from the comfort of their own computer instead of in person. If you're looking to use video in your business and grow it with webinars, here are some tips that you can use to make sure your videos start generating revenue for you immediately. By the way, make sure you stick around until the end of this video because I'll tell you how you can get your hands on my free pre-launch checklist. It'll help you go from zero to revenue hero. Create a story using the rule of three. You want to take your audience from a fling to a long-term relationship, so the best way to do that is to number one, pique their interest, number two, tease the most important part of the story, and then number three, solve their problem by the end of the story. Telling a story on video is especially powerful because your audience feels like you're talking directly to them. People are going to need resolution, so you want to make sure that whatever topic you're talking about provides a next step or a call to action for what they're supposed to do next. In this case, I'm giving you tips on how to structure your video for success, and then I'm going to offer you a free download so that you can use it to plan out the launch of your new video or webinar series. But first, I want to highlight some of the benefits to recording and using webinars in your business. It's a great way to educate your audience better than just writing a blog article because it's directly related to a problem that you can solve for that audience. Also, you won't have to answer the same questions over and over again. By making a video that answers a common question, you can just direct people to that link or that training session. It can be used as an HR tool by large corporations and even small businesses to train or onboard employees. It can also be used as a sales vehicle by including an offer within the video. A lot of people who make a six and seven figure income online will tell you that the ticket to their success is doing online webinars. The reason for this is because once you put the work into planning your presentation and then recording it, you can use that expertise to continue educating people over and over again by putting into place an automated sequence that markets and sells your webinar. If you typically do a lot of traveling for business, giving presentations, trainings, or even consulting, then recording a webinar is a great way to cut down on the amount of time that you actually have to present. If you think webinars are an option for you, here's what you'll need to do to get started. You'll need to prepare your presentation. Many people start with slides on a PowerPoint, and this is definitely an option, especially if you're just starting out and you're not familiar with video editing techniques. Using a simple screen capture software such as ScreenFlow, you can simply page through your PowerPoint presentation like you normally would and have it all captured on video. Once your presentation is ready, you can use your computer or your phone to record yourself doing some talking. Sometimes it feels like only the people that are newscasters on TV are comfortable in front of a camera, but the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. I started doing my own videos by setting my computer on top of a stack of books and making sure my background was a plain white wall. The great part about ScreenFlow is you can grow into it, so once you're more comfortable using it, you can use the layers to overlay text on top of your video and even incorporate animation techniques to make your presentation more interesting. Once you're all recorded, you'll need software that can deliver the automated component of the webinar to your audience. My favorite software for creating videos is Webinar Jam. You'll find a link for a free trial in the comments below.
The benefit of using Webinar Jam is that you can set everything up to air live and even have your team facilitate live questions while your webinar is going on. Then you can run it on an automated schedule that allows people to sign up and watch it anytime that it's convenient for them. The software then runs the program and reminds them to watch the replay that they signed up for. The best part about this is you can collect leads for your business and your email list instantly when people sign up to view the webinar. If you'd like to check out a free trial to Webinar Jam, click on the link in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comments below. And if this happens to be the first video of mine that you're watching, I would love it if you'd hover over my name in the lower right hand corner and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my best tips and tricks for growing your business online.